Hi everybody, it's Nani. How you doing today? I am great. I am back today with a Dollar Tree haul for you and found some excellent stuff. Did you guys see what was in my thumbnail? They have by Crafter Square, these were all in the, the crafty section, not in the tool section. They have a bunch of different pliers. I love this. I used to play around crafting, making jewelry and my pliers have gone through a lot. So it's time to go through them all and go ahead and get rid of them. And a lot of them are just so dinged up and out of shape, but I still use them. But when I saw these, I thought, why not? Go ahead and pick them up and see how they work. And they seem very nice quality. Like they seem like they grip nice and tight. They do have the little grippy ridges on the inside, which is excellent. So they had this pair. These are kind of the bent. I don't I don't know the, the proper term for all these and they just say pliers, but they're almost like a bent needle nose plier. And it also looks like there's a cutter in here. So if you are working with wire, you can just put your wire through there and it'll snip it. And those have the black handles. They had this style that are more like a true wire cutter style with kind of a pinky peach handle. Also seem like they grip very nice and tight. Then they had this style of needle nose plier and they have the little group, little um, little ridges on the inside so they'll grip nice. And this is kind of like a teal turquoise handle. Also with the wire cutter in the center. And then they had these and these are a rounded I don't even know what you call these, but they're round. So you can wrap wire around it to form it. I thought that was great. So I picked up one of each of them and I don't know if there are more. These were the four that I saw in the store that I was in. So if you guys know if there are more out there, a great little gift if you want to make a gift basket for someone that's crafty. They have all kind of jewelry making supplies in there right now. All types of things. Excellent. So I'll be going through my little jewelry tool toolbox and replacing. My stuff is old. It is. I don't couldn't even tell you how old my pliers and things are from. They're at least 20 years old. And they're just, they're done. They're done. They need to be gone through. All right, let's see, which way should I go? I have a couple food items, but not many. I needed some peas. It's, I just needed a couple cans of peas and they were there at the Dollar Tree. I didn't feel like going to the grocery store. So I picked up two cans and these are the Del Monte Harvest Peas, 15 ounce can. Instead of spending the money, the gas money to go to the grocery store, I got them at the Dollar Tree. And these, the best buy is June of 25. So picked up a couple cans of those and then I picked up, we needed ketchup. So I picked up a thing of the Hunts. That's usually what Dollar Tree has. There is another brand out right now in the Dollar Tree, but I haven't picked it up to try it yet. If you guys have, let me know. I can't remember what the brand is though. We are typically, me personally, I like Heinz the best, but Hunts is what is always in the Dollar Tree. So it's kind of what we have switched to in the last several years. And this is a... 20 ounce, no preservatives, Hunt's ketchup. We went to another store. After we went to the store, I found this. They had the Hunt's, but it was in a smaller container. So keep an eye out for that. I even mentioned it to hubby. We were walking down the aisle and it's like, look, the, the Hunt's has shrunk. So I was very happy that I picked it up in the store that I was in because I, I can't remember how many ounces the, the smaller one is, but it, it's not 20 ounces. And then we were in line to check out, first I'll show these, the Wiley Wallaby Soft Chewy Classic Red Natural Strawberry Flavored Licorice. I love these, absolutely love them. They're delicious. And it is a five ounce package, which is great. This is probably one of my favorite licorices out there. They're so, so good. But anyway, we were checking out and the line was pretty long. A couple people ahead of us was actually at the, re the register checking out. And the checkout 
lady had said, wow, you found the lemon Wiley Wallaby. I had to go right back. I left Hobby with the cart. I went back to the candy section and found the lemon. I have never seen Wiley Wallaby do lemon. This is actually lemonade. Have never seen them do this before. So we're going to try this. It's a four ounce. It, yeah, it's a four ounce. The red, the classic red is a five ounce. And it also says fat free, no high fructose corn syrup, and it's vegan. You guys know I love anything lemon. So we're going to try this. Have you guys seen it? Tried it? They have a berry flavored one. And I didn't like that one. I mean, it's good, but I wasn't a super big fan. And they also have an apple, I think, that I wasn't a super big fan of. But lemonade, I'm trying it. Oh, my. It smells like lemonade. Mmm. That's good. And it does have a bitey lemonade flavor to it. Like it's not super sweet. It's sweet, but yet, you know that bitey lemonade? Mm-hmm. That's good. Very different. Yeah, I'm glad I picked that up. So if you guys like lemonade, let me know your thoughts if you've tried these. Very good. Very different. I don't I couldn't eat very many of those in a row though. So that's a that's a good thing. All right, which way do I go now? How do you pick these up? They are the hanging hooks. I don't know what you call these things. It's called a rotating four claw hook by Closet Essentials, and you get two pieces in here, and you put them over your um closet rod and then you can hang things from them you can hang belts or purses or whatever you know tank tops hats so I'm going to open this for you they had them in gray and they had them in white and they are two packs don't mind the, the sound guys some of you guys love the sound of crinkling some of you guys absolutely hate it but sometimes there's nothing I can do about it but they just, they, you put it over your clothes rod in your closet, and then you can hang things, and it swivels. So you can go ahead and twist it around if you're looking for a particular hat or belt, scarf. Anything to help organize the closets, um, I'm for it. So we'll keep one of them for us, and then we'll pass, we'll pass the other pack along to whichever one of the girls want them. And then in the crafter section... I thought this would be fun for one of the kids. It's a pom-pom craft kit by Christmas House, and you can make a little reindeer. And everything is included in there. I don't know if the glue is included. I don't see glue in there, and it doesn't say on the package. So you may need to, you may need to pick up a little thing of glue, but I thought this would be fun for just one of the kids to sit around and do a little craft. So cute. And they did have other ones as well, but I liked the reindeer for some reason. And everything is already pre-cut. So no fuss, no muss, other than the glue. <clears throat> I had picked up some new um, throw rugs and I wanted to get this just to have on hand in case we need them. My throw rugs were done. The um, little rubber backing on it was just slippery and getting dangerous. So they all went down to the garage and this is that um, non-slip rug underlay is what it's called. I just like to have this on hand just in case we need it. I should have picked this up before, and I didn't. So picked up one just to have on hand when we need it again. And this stuff works great. And you can use this also in your cabinets. Like if you have a cabinet that's kind of slippery, that you're putting your glasses or mugs that slip around, you can cut this and go ahead and put it in your cabinets as well or drawers, whatever you may need it for. And it works great, and it, it stays nice for a very long time. And it is, somebody will ask me how big it is, I'm sure it is 18 inches by 24 inches. So if you have super long rugs, you may need to get a couple packs of this or just, just cut it and then, you know, put it in sections underneath your throw rug. 
the, I like this. We pick that up, you know, quite often as we need it. And then Hubby saw this and picked it up. This is by that Infinity brand, and this is called a ladies baseball cap. And this one, I mean, this, this one looks like top-notch quality here. It has the label, Infinity. This is just one of the protectors that keeps it in shape. And I liked this one because it actually has the belt style. It's not Velcro. It has the American flag on the front. It has their Infinity symbol back here. And I didn't see a price tag on this, but this looked really nice. I love caps, guys. Love them. I wear them all the time. You just don't see me wearing them because I won't, don't wear them on camera, but I love them. And then in the um, cleaning section, I just showed something by Dapple Baby. It was a, a cleaner, a spray disinfecting cleaner. This time they had the Dapple Dapple Dish. This is coffee and sport bottle dish soap. For hot or cold containers powered by plants, it says low suds, easy rinse, no residue, proven to out clean leading dish soaps on tough residue. And it is a 16.9 fluid ounce, looks like a pump top. I don't know why, you know, why they tout this as being for like, um, like coffee bottles and things like that, but I'll use it for anything in the, you know, dishes wise. So I'm going to try this. I'm going to smell it though, if I can get it open. I don't smell any scent whatsoever. So I'm going to try this. The colors on the, the packaging is really nice too. So have you guys tried this? Let me know your thoughts. And then in the candle section, got me again, guys. They had these six-piece scented wax melts by Signature Luminescence, and it is in the vanilla set. I do have, I burn candles 99% of the time, but I do have wax warmers. And I smelled this one because of the vanilla, and it smelled nice. Like it smells stronger than what they normally smell. So I thought I would go ahead and give it a try. And they had many different scents to choose from, but I saw the vanilla and wanted to pick it up. If you guys have tried these, let me know your thoughts because you just don't have much luck with the candles in the Dollar Tree, but yet here I am. It just smells super nice. So I'm gonna go ahead and give that a try. I need to dig out my candle melter. It gets kind of shoved back in the cabinet and I'll have to pull it out. And then I saw this and thought this would make an excellent stocking stuffer. This is called Makeup Sponge with Case by Sassy and Chic. They had different colors to choose from, but I kind of liked this grayish taupe color. Is it taped? Let me see if it's taped. I just thought this was really nice and I thought it would be great if you're traveling. It has the sponge, the makeup sponge, and then it has this little coffee, coffee looking cup, and it is vented. So after you wash your brush or your um, sponge, you can go ahead and put it in here to let it dry. It can just go in there and put the lid on and there's vent holes. I thought that was super cute. <clears throat> so I went ahead and just picked up one I don't know if I'll give this as a gift or if I'll keep it for myself. But I know they had one in like a brown. I can't remember what the other colors were, but I just thought that was just something unique and different and a cute little idea for a stocking stuffer. Excellent. If you know somebody that likes coffee, make a nice little gift basket of all different coffee type things. Excellent. So anyway, guys, that is it for this haul. I'm going to go ahead and get this stuff put away and move along with my day. I hope you're all doing well. If you like this type of thing, please subscribe. I'd love to have you as part of my YouTube family. You guys are the best. Have a great day, everybody, and I'll talk to you again here really soon. Peace.